at its heart, philanthropy is about love of humanity and doing work that serves the greater good. So I think that's sort of the common thread that pulls us all together and motivates us all to do work. My name is Risha Stebbins, and on behalf of the Cameron Foundation, we are your 18th story. The Cameron Foundation is what's known as a Health Legacy Foundation. Our mission is to support the quality of life for residents in the region, and we do that by working in partnership with mainly nonprofits and uh, some government and faith-based organizations, but really our core work is with nonprofits across the region. Our grant history goes back to 2004 with the James House, but um, in 2007 we really started having deeper conversations with the organization because it was responding to so much demand in the community and it did not have the infrastructure inside of the organization to be able to really um, provide quality services and sustain that, that trajectory that it was on. So um, we actually started out by bundling or operating support so that the organization could continue to serve clients from day to day, and then we, we coupled that with technical assistance support so that they could bring in some consultants. So at, um, at, the, at the surface, they continued to provide services to more and more clients uh, throughout the period where we were doing these capacity building investments. But then um, behind the scenes, they were also really doing some difficult work around long-term strategic planning and building a plan for long-term sustainability. We work at that level of the organizational level, but you know, ultimately what it comes down to is people in trying to make people's lives better. You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child, and I think um, in, in our work in the public sector, what we're trying to do is all work together to improve one person's life at a time. In the last 10 years, the James House has gone from 500 to 1,400. They, they start, at the starting point, they were serving 500 people in the community, and now they're serving over 1,400. It's not the, the the 500 and the 1400, it's, it's the people that are represented by those figures. And, you know, that's what really gets us to the point where we can say we're, we are improving people's lives by working together. And so, you know, you want to be a part of it.